stand mixer is an expensive countertop appliance, and we use it for all manner of mixing, whisking, and kneading. Nowadays, they can be found in a smaller, lighter style, and Adam's here to tell us if they're up to the task. Okay, Julie, I'm serving you my line that I practiced for this episode. Small is big right now. <laughs> <laughs> you rehearsed that, did you? I did. Lots of countertop appliances are shrinking. Stand mixers are among them. Mm -hmm. KitchenAid, which makes our favorite full-size mixers, is now making this three and a half quart Artisan Series tilt head stand mixer. They promise that it's about 25% smaller, 20% lighter, but it can handle the same jobs as a full-size model. That's pretty cool. We were curious. So we decided to test this one versus two other mixers that are both three and a half quarts or less. The price range on the three was a low of about $40 mm -hmm. to a high of $250. Big so. range. Big range. The tests included whipping egg whites for half a batch of meringues, okay. creaming butter and sugar for both cookie dough and cake batter, okay. making a full batch of frosting to frost the cake, mm -hmm. and making dough for whole wheat pitas. Aha. And along the lines, testers also paid attention to the usability, the design, and how easy they were to clean. Now, in terms of how efficient they were for mixing, it all had to do with the kind of mixing action. Okay. This one down here, that little light green number in yeah, front of you. Yeah, cute. That one was fairly stationary. The beaters stayed put. They just okay. mixed and mixed and mixed in one spot. You had to manually move the bowl to the left and the right to try and cover more ground. And you do that by pressing down this lever in front and sliding it. Give that a try and what? see what you think. Oh, while it's on? While it's on. Oh, man. No, this feels like a toy. It does not feel like a true kitchen appliance. Suffice it to say that the system was not very good. You know, only what was right underneath the beaters got mixed. Everything else had to be finished by hand. These two operated by planetary action, mm -hmm. which means that the mixers and the beaters rotate around the bowl like the earth rotates around the sun, and that was a lot more efficient. There was no flour that didn't get mixed into the cake batter. All the chocolate chips got well distributed throughout the cookie dough, so this was way better. Now, these guys are obviously a lot lighter than mm -hmm. full-size mixers. That one's three and a half pounds, this one's nine pounds. That's great news when you have to move them, yep. not great news when you turn your back and turn it back around and find <laughs> it sort of shimmying, shaking across the work surface. Towards the edge of the counter, yes. <laughs> not a good moment, that. These two seek to combat the shimmying and shaking with suction cups oh. to ground them, and they work. Mm -hmm. But testers didn't like them. Here, why don't you pick this one up just so you can move it out of the way. <laughs> yep, that would be a problem. It works, but it's sort of a nuisance. It works very well. This one, the KitchenAid Artisan, weighs 16 pounds. Okay. That's a lot lighter than the 27 pound full size guy, but it's still heavy enough to stay put while it's working. Makes sense. You know, of the three smaller ones, of the minis here, the KitchenAid is the one to go for. This is the three and a half quart KitchenAid Artisan tilt head stand mixer. It's 250 bucks, which is actually $50 Ooh. more than our favorite inexpensive full size stand mixer from KitchenAid. Yeah, so you're really paying for it to be lighter. But you know, our theory is you get what you pay for. It kept pace with the full size in mm -hmm. all of the tests but one. And if you really are space limited, this will take care of almost everything you need. So if you're in the market for a smaller and lighter stand mixer, check out the KitchenAid Artisan Mini 3.5 quart tilt head stand mixer at $250. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>